Now, Upper Michigan's award-winning news. Derek Maselli reporting for Radio Results Network News in Marquette. The polls officially closed. The count underway now tonight for many races and ballot proposals across the Upper Peninsula. We've got you covered for everything happening here in Marquette. The biggest race as far as Marquette City is concerned is for the two city commission seats up for grabs. David Campana and Sarah Reynolds' term limits are up, so there were four candidates on that ballot who made it through the August primaries. Evan Bonzel, Andrew Lawrencer, Sally Davis and Nina Vandenend, also write-in candidate Mickey Brum. The Marquette Board of Light and Power also has one seat open, the incumbent Robert Nemi, the only candidate on the ballot for that position. And there are two seats open for the Nagani City Council. Kevin Flowey is on the ballot and Dana Lalonde running as a write-in candidate. We'll keep you updated on those results as they come in right here on the stations of the Radio Results Network. Well, folks, the results are in, and it was a close race for Marquette City Commission earlier tonight. Evan Bonsall claims the first of two seats up for grabs with 2,440 votes. The race for that second seat a little bit closer. Andrew Lawrencer edges out Sally Davis by just 20 votes, 1,463 to 1,443. So, as it stands, it'll be Bonsall and Lawrencer who will be sworn into the commission next week. In other elections, Robert Nemi will retain his seat with the Board of Light and Power, and over in Nagani, Kevin Flowey will have a seat on the city council. Tune into the morning news tomorrow for even more coverage and analysis of the November 2019 elections right here on the stations of the Radio Results Network. Now, Upper Michigan's award-winning news. Reporting from the Radio Results Network newsroom, I'm Derek Maselli. We've got another weather-related update for you this afternoon. Northern Michigan University canceling classes and close now for the remainder of the day. That includes night classes due to the current forecast calling for up to 10 inches of snow tonight. The NMU performance of What We Leave Behind also canceled. Ticket holders can either exchange for another day or get a refund from the Barry Event Center ticket office tomorrow. And Lake Superior Hospice's grief support group scheduled for 6 o'clock tonight canceled as well. We'll keep you updated on the weather-related closures as they come in. You can also follow along on any of our Radio Results Network Facebook pages. From the Radio Results Network newsroom, Derek Maselli with a traffic update for you. Motorists, be advised if you're passing through the South Marquette area. We've got reports of traffic down to a single lane in both directions on Front Street due to an accident that occurred over near Quality Car Care Center here on Mountain Bakery and Classic Auto Collision. So avoid that route for a while if you can. And remember, folks, drive cautiously with all the snow and ice out on the roads this morning and afternoon. Again, for RRN News, I'm Derek Maselli. Now, Upper Michigan's award-winning news. Temperatures topped out in the upper middle 70s under partly sunny skies earlier today. They'll settle down in the lower 50s under partly cloudy skies tonight. Looking forward to Wednesday, there's about a 50-50 chance of showers. It'll be mostly cloudy, highs in the mid to lower 60s. Filling in for Jack Hall, I'm Derek Maselli. Good news for animal lovers across the state. The Michigan Pet Fund Alliance recently announced a 90% live animal release rate for dogs and cats in Michigan shelters. That includes animals returned to owners, transferred to other shelters or rescue organizations, and animals that have been adopted. According to the MPFA, when the shelters in a state combine to meet that 90% target, the state is considered no-kill for shelter animals. They've been keeping numbers since 2009, and so far the only other state that has reached that no-kill designation is Delaware. Nagani High School is hosting its 10th Feeding America Mobile Food Pantry next week. Distribution will take place Wednesday, September 18th at 4.30. Registration starts at 4 p.m. right at the high school. And Meyer has joined the growing list of retailers asking customers not to openly carry guns in its stores. The statement comes less than a week after Walmart asked customers to do the same. More at RadioResultsNetwork.com.